Good morning. Good morning. Got night shift. Absolutely, the moon's still way out right yeah. now. Oh, uh, uh, very which, much so. I just went and looked at worklifecoffee.com. What'd you see? So they still have the K cups. Okay. If um, if you, you want guys, night shift. Yeah, and if you have Keurig, they still have the K cups, and you can pre-order the night shift. Um, when it so when it comes back in stock, you get it. From what the email said, it'll be on the thirtieth. Oh. So not long from now. Yeah. So if you want some bags of night shift coffee, you can go ahead and pre-order. You, want you can go ahead and pre-order it and uh, just use the code Crockers mm -hmm. for. Uh, a pack of four and you get the fourth one free so you get four bags for the price of three if you use code crockers for night shift coffee yeah. uh, pretty cool about that and uh, um, those that did get it um, and if you love it go leave a review and say the crockers yeah uh, the more they hear about the crockers the better it is for us yeah uh, we don't get paid we just love the fact that um, we love a product and we want to share it and uh, they send us coffee. It's yeah. great. It's literally an everyday thing for yeah. us. And then it's we get to thing. then we get to hand out coffee to new people and great coffee. Yeah, so the best coffee. Um, but the reason we love work life is because there's days we really need coffee. And I'm very glad yesterday we started with some good cups of coffee. Because it was a uh -oh. crazy day. Lucy, hold on, girl. Um, it was a crazy day. You guys will see uh, Paragon Ridge Ranch. Uh, if you are not subscribed, which I think a lot of you guys are, go subscribe to Paragon Ridge Ranch and go wait. Um, I, I could be wrong. I think they normally post around 3 o'clock-ish. Um, but look this afternoon for a video, and then we should have a video if all goes well. We should have a video today at 7. Yeah. And you kind of have to watch both to get the whole story. They were here, yeah. and they got us out of a massive pickle. Not oh. only once, but twice in the same day. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, uh, yeah. I can't. We're just so grateful for them. Yeah. It's like words cannot express. It's unreal. Like the... Yeah. For one, the amount of stress that we're under. Oh yeah, I I I slept one hour last night. Mm -hmm. My my brain could not turn off. It was, uh, it was bad. It's just to get this all done and figured out and uh, predicaments and just shout out to them. They definitely they came in up. clutch. Yeah, and you guys get to see it all unfold. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> definitely came in clutch. We're uh, we're very lucky. We have friends like we have mm -hmm. um the um shulins uh that's the last name for anyone out there that didn't know yeah. i didn't know for a long time i always thought their last name was paragon and then <laughs> uh maybe like three weeks ago i found out it was shulin was like it was longer a years yeah ago. but when i first met them i thought their last name was paragon i was like oh yeah. paragons um <laughs> but uh having friends like that to come in clutch and they had they had their own drama going on with it and barely making it and this and that. For them to go through that to help us and That's then crazy. when we needed them again instantly when they thought they were done and to stick around and do it. I mean, it was a crazy day. It, it, I was a little stressed. It was it was wild. All the stuff happened at once. Um, we're very grateful to have friends like that. And then, you know, um, on the flip side of it, it's not really the flip side, but on a different thing, not really work right here and stuff, but like to have friends like the Junos that when we were in a predicament of we don't even have a place to put our cow, what yeah. do we do? Um, they watched Lambo for That's a long crazy. time. Never... Yeah, just never would have thought that, I don't know, great friends like that, basically. Especially on my end, um, especially when it comes to YouTube. You, yeah. You really, really learn that a lot of people only like you for what you can give to them. Um, and that's as far as, like, 
views or sending subscribers over or they would just want to come over get a video and then you don't talk to them until the next time they want a video or people don't come out and want to help they just want to help themselves get a, a, a view and leave and I mean y'all know I dealt with it for years and years and years and I've been on um, the defense mode ever since and um, you know with Paragon Ridge Ranch and Juno Acres Homestead uh, I always forget they added Homestead on the end. Yeah. Um, I was on the defense for a little bit with them, and it took a while of really realizing, like, wow, there actually are good, decent people that mm -hmm. don't necessarily... They care... Both families care more about the friendship than they do YouTube. YouTube is a massive bonus because we all get to do it. Yeah, but and it makes, like... In the grand scheme, when it's great people, yeah, you get to work together. It makes YouTube enjoyable again. Mm -hmm. That should be the slogan. Oh, make YouTube great again is what it needs to be. Yeah. Um, but to have friends like that that do come in and come in clutch and and help when we feel helpless um, is great. And I do feel like we haven't been able to give back as much because we've been so bogged down. We've been so trying to just tame the beast of this place and all that. And that's the beauty of getting where we're getting is we're going to be more comfortable and we could actually um, not only help others more. Um, you know, we try to do what we can when we can, but we can actually be like, hey, y'all want to come over to our place? Hey, y'all want to come over and grill out and just hang out here? Mm -hmm. Hey, do y'all want to just do this or that? And there's been waves in our over the last couple of years where we feel like, okay, we're at a point where we can go hang out with friends and do stuff. And then we get to the point where we're like, mm -mm. we have no time. We we It's crunch time. We got to do this and that. And luckily, when you have friends like us, um, I would like to say... Um, very successful friends, uh, people who, um, they both families have run their own businesses and have been very involved in creating a business and very involved in uh, knowing what it takes and how much effort and knowing that, there's an understanding. yeah, knowing that I may not be around. And, you know, there's times that, um, you know, like the meetup, we're like, oh, cool, Junos will be able to come to this. They just did a business meeting, so we switch it to the next weekend, and we can all hang and do this, and then they'll be like, I got a work thing. Yeah. Get it. Uh, you know, uh, Paragon, two years of their life, or however long it was, it was 100% dedicated to that feed store, and there's nothing they could do about it mm -hmm. other than try to build a business. And um, yeah. having friends that understand and having friends that understand – want not only hey do what you got to do we're, we're here that's massive i've never had that when it comes to not never i've never had that when it comes to youtube friends yeah. uh, now they're actually real friends but um i never had that with youtube friends um but uh also to have people friends that you've met through youtube yeah youtube, YouTube. friends uh, i don't have any of youtube friends outside of that um i have acquaintances Mm -hmm. Uh, people, you know, whatever, I guess that's the wrong term. I have friends outside of that, uh, close friends, close, close friends. There are other friends clearly from YouTube, but, um, it's to have people who understand and, and then also it's like a lot of people don't see YouTube as a business, but it's our full-time business. Uh, this is how we make our full-time living. Clearly, Danielle is a nurse and, and all that. But full-time for both of us is YouTube. Then Danielle has a hospital outside of that. Um, I feel My side gig now. Yeah. It used to be the other way around. Yeah. But... I feel like we both have multiple full-time jobs. Like full-time, we're full-time builders. We're full-time video editors. We're full-time video producers. We're full-time, you know, just everything there is. And then on top of that, she has the hospital. And then we're getting a house ready to sell. We're doing all that. We're There's a lot going on. But um, to be surrounded with people who are successful and have been successful and know the ins and outs of business and um, – we're connected through YouTube and now we actually have real friendships and stuff. 
it's great to have people in your circle that understand and relate. It's rare, and it took years and years and years to get here, but it's like anything. Nothing good comes easy, and if it was easy, everyone would do it, and um, it became a thing where, um, yeah, there you go, there's your nose. Uh, <laughs> It took a long time and a lot of trial and error with people and stuff to finally find some good, good people. And uh, through all the stuff that happened, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. And sometimes you got to weed through the weed. You got to dig through the weeds to get to the good grass, I guess, maybe. Um, I don't know a real saying. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yesterday was stressful. But a lot of the stress was taken off because of Paragon Ridge Ranch, yeah. and you guys will see that unfold on their channel. Um, y'all got y'all guys. Actually, if you haven't watched Paragon Ridge Ranch's video yesterday, yeah. they went in depth of why we have our animals, what we yeah. want to do, what's Which, our plan, what's our future plans. Because a lot of people do ask about that uh, with our animals and our homestead. Yeah. Uh, what we truly intend on with everything. And I know what we've said, it kind of pieces here and there, but that video is just straight up. It really our, dialed it in. Yeah. So yeah. if you're interested in that. And you can tell out. in my face in that video that I've been stressed all day and mentally tired. Do you just, have your bump? This, that's constant. Mm -hmm. Um, It's like my mood ring. How's it going to be today? Rough. If it's a little more, what? Huh? My bump? Yeah. Is rough? No, I just mean like if it's you bumping, it's rough. I'm trying to think of if 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 the campers are rocking, don't come a knocking. If the bumps of bumping, y'all finish it. <laughs> <laughs> we might be huh? camel. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was just trying to be silly, but yesterday was crazy. And I stressed out big time. I tried to hold it together as much as I could and get it done. And uh, when it does get stressful, uh, I try to just try to let it out, be stressed as quick as I can, get it all, all the motions out, and then be like, what do we do? And um, luckily, again, we have friends that we have, and we were able to uh, call them up and... You, they came to the rescue. Do you feel like this is more stressful because it's like us hiring things out, so we're not doing it? Oh, yes. So it's like a lot of it's out of our control? Yes, and... So that's not like a use... Oh, yeah. Use to it. And also it's... Um, if we're not ready, if we're not up to their par, if we're not whatever, we're... Yes, we hired them, but now we're wasting their time. Now we're we're messing with other people's time, and I'm also stressed because I'm like, these are the professionals, but will they do it right? We're spending a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Will they? Will will the outcome be what we want, or should we have just done it ourselves, DIY? And it takes longer. Maybe we would have messed up or learned, but hey, if it's messed up, at least we didn't pay the extra for the labor and all that. So it is a stressful time for me. I've, I'm not good at, uh, I guess, letting the reins go. Mm -hmm. And uh, when there's a massive, um, there's a massive amount of room for failure, because you're talking large sums of money. Um, we will go over at some point how much it costs for certain things, and it's just outrageous. Yeah. Um, it's unbelievable how much stuff costs. It is unreal. Uh, yeah. You you don't know until you're in it. You can ballpark and then go ahead and double it just to be safe, and it might be more. I'm gonna say go ahead triple it. Oh, it's crazy and it's stressful and it's. I mean, we're not talking hundreds of dollars. We're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, and we're not the richest people in the world. We're not just have a massive savings we're not you know we're we're on 10 acres and we're trying to build up a dream property on our own and yes we are fortunate enough to have the money to do this but it's not like it's just disposable and it's easy to throw it around and every time that you swipe the car to go to the atm to take money out you're just like oh my god like i don't know how most people do this but 
my whole thing with money is how long did I have to work to get this? Mm -hmm. I traded my time that I could be having fun working to make money to do this. And it's, it's, it's a weird thing. Um, it's a very weird thing to it not to be in our hands when we hire it out or mm -hmm. we're trying to get it ready to hire out or whatever. Um, but again, at the end of the day, that's when you have friends that come in and kind of take some of that burden away, take some of that stress away. And I don't even think they understand how much they take away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, again, I'll circle it back around to um, Juno's with Lambo. Uh, we did the video yesterday with Chrissy uh, yeah. talking about the farm animals. And we're just like, yeah, we love Lambo and this and that. And there was a time that we were like, do we get rid of them? What do we do? We don't even know if we could um have them here and um i thought about this earlier um there's not probably a lick of grass in that spot mm -hmm. and every day we go over there and i see it i just feel terrible i feel bad i want those animals all of them out there in the woods where they could just eat and do all stuff mm -hmm. we just don't have the time or resources or anything right now because we're doing everything and I had to think, I thought about it this morning and I was, we were watching Joe Rogan and he's talking about, he's talking with the people that did uh, Tiger King and, and Chimp Crazy. Chimp Crazy. If you haven't, if you haven't seen, seen Chimp it. Crazy, it's wild. Oh my God. It's on HBO. Yeah, it's wild. But, or just look on YouTube. I'm sure there's clips. Yeah. But um, I was looking in there and I'm like, man, I feel bad. I wish there was more room. I wish, you know, we're supplementing with hay and then we give them yeah. feed and then we give them cutoffs and all that. We're doing what we can. And I just had to think of it this way. There's people out there that will, uh, is a mosquito? Mm -hmm. I felt something. There's people out there that will bash us and there's people out there that say, that is just sickening. But you have to think about it as if those were our kids and we're just not ready to buy a big house yet. It's our starter home and mm -hmm. it doesn't make you a bad parent for having an apartment. It doesn't make you a bad parent for having a little studio house, a one bedroom house and you have a kid. It doesn't make you a bad parent. You're just not ready for that next step of having everything, but you're working hard to get there. Mm -hmm. It would make us bad parents or animal owners if we were like, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. That's, they're fine. That's all they need. And it's not, it's, we're animal parents to them. And the same thing as you guys, yeah, y'all know the struggle. Um, yeah. You're just not there yet, but that's what you're going for, and you will get there, and you will mm -hmm. give the best life to your kids or to your animals, and that's just where we're at, and that's what I thought about this morning when I started feeling bad. I'm like, man, I just feel guilty that they're in such a small place, and we have to go buy hay, and then we have to go cut branches, and we have to give them, you know, supplement it with feed and mineral blocks and all that when we have eight Ooh. acres of nothing but woods, but we can't get them there yet. But we have a plan, and it's coming to fruition very, very soon. And I can't feel bad about it. I do feel bad, but I can't let it affect me because that's going to affect the everyday work of let's get this done and let's mm -hmm. get what we need to get it to that point. And the only way to even translate that to people that don't have animals is at one time when you were a parent, and you didn't have the big house with the big yard and all that stuff. And maybe you had to be in something a little bit less. Or maybe you didn't have that, that job you wanted to support your kids. It didn't make you a bad parent. Mm -hmm. It just meant you're doing what you can and it will finally work out. And uh, For the longest time, too, we've taken care of them, which is what you need to do before us. Before and that our is needs. why we are still... we're Not in a house. Yeah, literally is because of the animals yeah and you know some people might think that we are crazy instead of like uh just take it sell the animals you can always get different animals which we do recommend yeah if to, you don't have animals don't get them at first do not uh everyone in this lifestyle does it wrong but yeah <laughs> everyone we ever talked to they said no nope, we got animals first and yeah, it was difficult that is my number one thing mm -hmm. is if you're starting a homestead <laughs> Take care of yourself first because it makes it better they for do. them. Yeah, they do depend on you. So you, I mean, you need to take care of them first. But it does put you where you don't have what you need. The time, the money, the energy. Everything. So it just puts you so far behind and you're living this super rough lifestyle that you don't need to because you have to take care of 
what oh, you yeah. signed up for. If you have the animals, do what you got to do. Yeah. If you don't have them, don't get them until you're ready. Yeah. So, I mean, we get comments all the time of people being like, it's been this long, you never finished anything, you're dragging things out, give this girl a house, all that. It's literally because we put in the animals first. Yeah. And this, we have compromised with the animals and it's... I don't know, kind of like a meet in the middle with everything. We got you situated, let us get situated, and then we'll give you everything you want. Yeah. And that's where we're at. So, I don't know. I, I think a lot of you guys can um, empathize if y'all haven't had animals. Maybe that puts it in perspective. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys are curious on what we're up to in our future plans, go watch Paragon's video. And I'm just mm -hmm. curious, comment down below, let us know, especially if you made it this far. That's how we know you made it this far. Did y'all watch Paragon's video already? Mm -hmm. And uh, what'd you think of uh, Chrissy's interview skills? I thought she did quite well. She's very yeah. much knowledgeable when it comes to animals and mm -hmm. what to say and what to how to ask questions and stuff. And um, I wasn't expecting that mm -hmm. at all. And she's just like, yeah, I just think a lot of people would be interested. And I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, actually, we talk about it, but it's always bits and pieces. Yeah. So i um, very curious about that. And then... Um, um, I will I will end it with this. Um, as of right now, we haven't hung out with Junos in a minute because schedules. And we've been busy and they've been busy and we've been busy when they're not busy and they've been busy when we're not busy and yeah. it's been crazy. But they've been fishing, and we just went to Shulins, Paragon Ridge Ranch. Yeah. And I would have caught more fish than Parker, but Parker's one of those that will you catch a fish, he'll run to your spot and try to catch them. So. I think we got to have a fish off um, mm -hmm. at least 100% between me and Flint. Yeah. But I think me, Flint, and Jeremy. Oh. I think that would be fun. Because Jeremy's a big fisherman. Yeah. He, he, I'll, okay, I'm going to leave y'all with this because I'm going to call Jeremy out. The whole time before we went fishing, they were getting some poles ready and stuff. And I said, I don't have to fish. It's okay. And Jeremy's like, no, no, no. Like, you're going to fish. And I said, you're going to fish. He's like, nah, I just watch y'all fish. We get out there and start fishing, and then he, Jeremy sits down on his cool. He's like, I'm not fishing. No one wanted to get me a pole. And I said, the whole time, why are you crying? Because I said, get a pole for you to fish. <laughs> he gets on my nerves. <laughs> so I think we should have a fish off. So if you guys want to see a fish off, yeah. go comment on a Juno video. Yeah. And a Paragon video and say, Crocker's called you out. Want to do a... Uh, in their a challenge crackers. yeah so we'll leave you at that appreciate you we have an insane day today and what we filmed today will also be in the video later today hopefully if all goes well um, i also think i should be in the fish off too honestly oh yeah i don't well you outfish us all i don't like when you fish you have really? out, you have outfished me every time we've ever went -uh. fishing no when have you uh, when have i outfished you the not so one spot in Colorado, you caught one, I didn't. I caught one tiny little fish. <laughs> it counts. And then you talking the, about that big lake we camped on? The year before, yeah. With Lucy? Yeah. Yeah. You caught a couple. I think I only caught one. Mm -hmm. So Normally she outfishes me everywhere we go. So I don't know if I want you fishing with us. Boys tournament. Okay. You and Sam can have a fish off. Yeah. <laughs> I want to win this. So, all right, guys, we'll catch you on this one. We got a crazy day. You guys will see it later, and you'll see it on Paragon Ridge Ranch. So, catch you on the next. Bye.